guys it is quite late today because I've been oh my gosh it's like five to six I've been really sick today and I just totally forgot to say good morning and hello at the start of the day so this is probably the first time you're actually hearing from me but Scott and I just went to see a movie I hunted for ages for Christmas paper and I've just given Paris her Christmas present. I'll show you. What are you looking at? You're not nearly as cute. <laughs> there have been some really important like additions to my life that I think you guys should know about. Um, so I'll just yeah. show you. Amazing are these. Look at them. Additions don't get more important than this. But there's more. These are the ones I had in today. No, nope. definitely wasn't wearing those together. These ones. And then these ones. They are so cute. There's something about earrings that is just like super festive. Chocolate platters, chocolate and corn chips. Although this is Marvelous Creations, and its non-symmetrical break is like seriously, it is never going in a chocolate platter again. That's just wrong. So just ignore that for a moment. Then we have wagon wheels, mint slice, rum and raisin, the unsymmetrical Marvelous Creations, and corn chips. So tonight we're going to sit down and watch, as I mentioned, season 6 of Hawaii Five-0 and uh, I feel like this is going to be finally the season where McGarry and Catherine get engaged but obviously it'll be turbulent and it'll be stressful because, you know, for reference to see their entire relationship. And I know I can't watch all 20 episodes in one night, so I know I'm not going to be able to know. Oh well. You just have to speak. Especially not with the night version of this. I'll be asleep before you know it. But I'm very excited. If you watch, if you still watch Monk, please let me know. Because I love it. I used to love it as a kid. I'm not a kid. My parents had some, you know. TV boundaries, but I used to really love it, but I've never followed like its overarching storyline. Probably because I didn't care as like a 14 year old, but I'm so keen. This is going to be my holiday watching. I'm very excited. But in terms of festive things today, literally just deciding on my Christmas wrapping theme. If you are as prepared as me and have also decided on your Christmas wrapping theme, please Oh, sorry guys. Please let me know what you're doing because I could really do with some inspiration. I mean, I'm tempted to just get a red bow, but do you know how hard it's gonna be to find that color red in a ribbon? Like it's not real red, it's like pink red. Maybe I'll go white, I don't know. There are too many decisions, but we'll see. You know what my paper reminds me of? For those of you who follow me on Instagram, my strip of Christmas, still the most festive thing in my room. Actually, it might be, hang on. Oh, where is it? Please hold for one moment while I try and figure this out. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so back to where we were. It might not be the most festive thing in my room because, yes, I love them. It makes the room feel so Christmassy and just so excellent. I'm gonna turn off these lights. Now all I need is a platter of chocolate. Lucky I've got one that was prepared earlier. So other festive things that are currently in our house. I love Christmas ornaments. Okay, you ready? We have Santa riding a unicorn. We have a small dog wearing a Christmas hat. Oh, this is the cutest thing ever. And this is festive, and I'm sure you'll agree this is festive, but I don't know how, because nothing in it screams festivities. It's so cute. I, I love it. Oh, and... Wait for it. More lights. Wherever they are. Here. Here. Yeah, that was not gonna work. Oh, the last festive thing. Okay, I, I feel like I'm misusing the word festive in most people's language. Festive is in like, things you do at Christmas, because this is not festive technically, but I have a 500 piece world map. And I feel like such a nerd, but I'm so excited to use it. Because, you know, you just have all this spare time at Christmas, you do maps and stuff. I don't know. It's just what you do at Christmas. <sighs> oh, the tree house sounds so good right now. Ready? I love our house.